I'm your girl Michelle Hope Walker. Um, I want you all to see this, which just means a lot to me. Um, they're showing a black male with natural <laughs> hair. I like that, which a lot of times they do tend to um, accept the black male <laughs> in natural hair sometimes than they do in our natural hair. But um, I just think this is awesome. And not just because it's Black History Month. Now, this might be why this advertiser has it up here because it's Black History Month. Um, it's shame on them. Um, but I do like how now everywhere and even the advertisement, they're starting to celebrate Black people 365, you know, um, and not just um, when um, it's Black History Month. But Again, Martin Luther King birthday uh, celebration just passed and we're going into Black History Month. So, no better than a better time now to talk about Black History. Y'all know, I've always, if you follow my feed, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, YouTube, Michelle Hope Walker Speaks between my comedy, my music, and every acting and everything. I'm always talking about the challenges that us Black people experience, especially I focus even more so on us black women because I see we even have an extra challenge. Believe it or not, black men, yes we do. We have an extra challenge <laughs> of being discriminated against because not only do we get discriminated against by everybody else, but we were even get discriminated against by black men. But right now, we're cheering on this picture. And uh, so I love it. You know, it's showing him in his black natural hair. I love that. And I know it's advertisement, so even before I get over here and show the part of the advertisement, um, I'm not trying to support this advertisement. I'm not saying they're bad advertisement, but I don't, I don't really know a lot about them. But I can say I do like this image. I like this. You know, because sometimes when they show the image of our black male, it's the low cut hair. Nothing wrong with the low cut hair. You know, you wear your hair however you want to. You know what I'm saying? But um, when they show the different natural styles, and again, I always have to say shout out to Holly Mitchell, who was our state senator, and now she is, ooh, hallelujah, my supervisor, my LA, Los Angeles County supervisor, uh, Holly Mitchell, who pushed for the Crown Act, meaning black people could wear our hair how we want to and wouldn't get fired for it or anything. And black people in the state of California, I think now they pushed it to be even more national, but literally would get fired over not wearing their hair the way the predominant culture wanted them to wear their hair. And a lot of times for us African-American women, it's straight. They don't always want them to wear our natural hair. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want the men wearing their natural hair, you know. Um, but now uh, we can sue if somebody, if we can tell that someone is discriminating against us uh, in relation to our hair. So there's a lot of remedies for us now these days in the name of Jesus. Um, and that's helpful. But anyway, again, this picture, seeing him in his natural hair, of oh, this is how he wants to wear his hair. Again, so shout out black men. To those of y'all that got the ball, the low fade, shout out to you too. Hallelujah, that's good. You know, I'm not putting you there. I'm just saying. I was just walking down the street in my community. And even when I'm walking down the street in my community, that be a whole thing. <laughs> Because I'm a black woman and my community is not predominantly black. I'm not saying that we, have, we don't have to live in predominantly black communities. We black people can live anywhere we want to live. And it's okay. Um, but even after 12 years of living in this community, <laughs> I still experience discrimination just doing a daily walk. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like i got to bring all kind of information just in case I get stopped. You know, what they say, first stopped and checked. You know, why are you here? Uh, I live here. <laughs> uh, type thing you know you get helicopters zooming around you the police just pass by every so more often while you taking your walk today mm -hmm. you know and even when they just did a thing that it was a guy which I still wonder that I actually killed that woman because they just see him walking to an alley I still wonder did they actually have footage of him actually doing something wrong with the black guy which to me looked like a very nice bag but I noticed one of the police described him as homeless because he was walking and because he had a bag on him. I was like, well, there are a lot of people walking. <laughs> and there are a lot of people with bags on them and they are not homeless. I carry, because of health things, I can have different things on me. 
And like I tell you, information, because black women, we can get accused of being homeless, we can get accused of all kind of different things, negative, and we ain't done nothing. We just going on our, what they say, black people doing normal things, <laughs> getting accused of doing stuff we have not done. You know, so I carry me a couple bags with me a lot of times when I'm going for, even when I'm driving, I will get out of my car with these same bags. But again, when you go places, even when you park your car and walk, you don't know who you're going to interact with or who's going to be a poor proof. No, I don't like this. And it's sad. Because it makes me feel bad for the homeless people. Because then people who are actually homeless, which is not their fault in a lot of cases, because the American people buy you housing all this money we got out here in America. So we provide some form of housing for people to start out with, like other countries. It's not strange why other countries do do this, okay? And we pay enough tax money here in America, I feel like, for that to be done. It's just part of my America team to be, uh, put their money in other places and helping the people that live here. But anyway. So I feel like I feel bad for the homeless people because the homeless people shouldn't have to be treated like that. Sometimes when I almost have to feel like I have to prove that I'm not homeless to get treated better, in a sense sometimes I'm like, do I really have to prove that? I shouldn't have to prove that um, because homeless people shouldn't be getting treated bad here just because they're homeless. Anyway, back to <laughs> the image. <laughs> and that was the piece that I wanted to capture with this image. So I like this city in my neighborhood. My neighborhood is not the dominant black uh, neighborhood. But I like when I do see black things in it um, because I'm, you know, it actually helps me that then maybe I will get accepted after 12 years <laughs> in my own neighborhood. <laughs> you know, and then this natural hair, my beautiful natural. Because again, you all, we know we're beautiful in our natural hair and everything. So I always, you know, when you follow me, I'm not saying, no, we're beautiful. We're not trying to be like other races, white people, nothing else, we're beautiful. But as we always talk about that tolling pole, where the tolling poles, where they put the rich white man at the top and the black woman at the bottom, sometimes, a lot of times, we get mistreated literally because we are black women. No other reason. We're beautiful, we're smart, we know who we are, God's on our side. Matter of fact, God's the one that's saving us <laughs> whenever they're trying to do stuff to us. Um, I'm turn the camera this way. I don't want anybody to think I'm videotaping them. Um, but again, that's the image. So for me, I cheer on stuff like this, and this makes me want to videotape. And I see images like this in my neighborhood. I love it. I'm like, kudos. See, it's my image. So, I love it, love it, love it. Now we'll get to, because I spend so much time on the image, I feel like I should pay respect to the person or the advertisement that did pour in the money to put this image um, up here. I'm gonna turn my camera again. I don't want people to think I'm videotaping them. I'm not videotaping them. <laughs> but again, so happy to see this black image in this neighborhood that I've lived in for 12 years that get discriminated against a lot <laughs> So, um, Oakley. Okay, so shout out to you, Oakley. And then it says, be who you are, LA. And this picture, this beautiful man is, uh, Derwin, let me get it right, y'all. It's saying Derwin, James, Jr., and Oakley said okay, football. So, uh, so um, all right, Oakley, I see you. So, all of this was to advertise these glasses he got on. Bless his heart. So, I want y'all to look at them glasses. Because I don't seem to realize some glasses, and I don't know a lot about Oakley. <laughs> but, the point that Oakley put a black man <laughs> in natural hair advertise uh because both my sons have had natural hair now i got one uh that um he still has his natural hair look, but um and those are my grown kids i have four grown kids and i'm five of them and i have three good no four grown kids four grown kids but um so shouts out though to oakley for putting this picture in my neighborhood I'm trying to stand out y'all so y'all can see the whole advertisement of it but thank you. So thank you. I think, I think I'm videotaping them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So again, thank you, Oakley, for putting this black image in um, this neighborhood. I appreciate it very much. So again, I'm not into a lot of times the advertisement or promoting books that I haven't really had or anything. I'm going to turn my camera here. Everybody thinks I'm videotaping them. Um, and be who you are in LA. Well, y'all know I'm a comedian. Can you really, though? <laughs> Probably 
Yeah, so, but you know, I give it to LA because I do love LA. And you can probably be more of yourself here in LA than you would be able to be in a more conservative area because LA we have Hollywood and so you know you have so many people from all over the world that have descended upon LA Hollywood striving to go after their goals and be some people do tend to be more positive and optimistic optimistic um, our police may not always are <laughs> but shout out to the good police I do interact with the good police uh, that don't all of a sudden judge you. But for black women, we always gotta watch for the police. If you don't know, even you say something positive. Remember to remind me, I was just fine. You know, if I see one, you tell me thank you. And they look at you all mean, some of them, and, and start, you know, following you and asking you. And I'm like, oh, I was just saying, so I like, don't alert, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> if they're saying something nicely to you or something, maybe you just say, okay, whatever, you know. But I have met a lot of, uh, of good ones, so, so shout out to the good LAPD. And I had something to have to call them and leave them. But, um, Again, these ones are following some time I'm walking in the neighborhood. Oh, I'm sketchy on them. Um, but anyway, closing this out. All right, Darwin. Darwin James Jr. Shouts out to you. Mm -hmm. He's a football player. Don't say what team or whatever. So again, this image caught my eye. And so I want to make sure that I videotape him. Then you all know the speaker. So I'm getting a person out. So shout out to you, Darwin. Thank you for being in my neighborhood. And thank you, Oakley, for putting those James Jr. in my neighborhood. All right, you all. God bless. But we always have to remember that no matter what racism um, we may experience or, or deal with, the number one, God sees everything. So the truth comes out. We've seen that in some of these cases that in the name of Jesus, where um, the people that did wrong to the black people did end up getting jail time and convicted thank you jesus but we still also got to be smart and um as you see sometimes i'll carry different things on me at proof so if someone does try to accuse me of being this or accuse me of doing something negative or wrong i have proof on me that you know although sometimes even you have proof they won't even look at it <laughs> i'm your girl michelle hope walker you know comedian personality music rapper singer everything all right so let me date this video so today is um january 21st, 2021 Friday. All right, God bless. And I want to end it on a picture of Dorian. All right, Dorian. I'll see you, girl. I'll see you, too.